Very well, then. <laughs> Hello there. Oh, I'm so sorry. What? Nothing. You're doing all right. Just keep practicing. I'm not even here. You're all alone in the woods and nobody's here to judge you. Not even me. See how I'm gone? That must be her. Stop. Wait. Come on out, will you? Who? Why, you, of course. Who, me? Have you forgotten you're all alone? <sighs> I'm not alone. You are here. And who else? Nobody? Aha! Uh -huh. If you were a friend of the forest, they'd all be here. The moss hogs and the hazel ferrets. The pebble crane would even rain on you from the skies to honor you. And the wood foxes would build a magnificent bonfire and everyone would dance. What? But as you are not a friend of the forest, everyone just stayed at home. If I were a friend of the forest, would you come out then? Yes, in that case we'd have something to talk about. We'd have to stand in awkward silence otherwise. And in order to be a friend of the forest, I'd have to... Have friends, that's right. Resin rats, for example. Or paper finches. And where would I find those? If you don't have any friends, you have to make them up. What on earth has Gwynling foisted upon me? I'll be back in a minute. Help yourself. I have plenty of those. What's hidden in the foliage there? What's hidden in the foliage there? What's with the snail in the foliage? What's with the snail? What's hidden in the foliage there? What's hidden in the... Not like this. What's with the snail in the foliage? What's hidden in the foliage there? What's hidden? I can't think of anything here. Hello? The snail, uh, Jerka, my best friend in all of the forest. You called her just now, but she preferred to stay at home. She doesn't seem to like you very much. So I'm supposed to just uh, make up a friend? A forest friend, that's right. He'd have to be made from the forest. Friends of forest friends are my friends too. I'll be back in a minute. Guess I'll have to dig in the foliage then. Ow! No fairy, just a hedgehog. A snail should be the right treat for you. He seems to like it, but he's too scared. At last, an animal that's easy to catch. Very well. Perhaps Gwynling will settle for a hedgehog in case I can't catch the fairy.
Serves you right, spiky guy. You shouldn't always sting our guests. No wonder no one ever comes to visit us. Hello? Look at my hedgehog. He's my friend. But you had to imprison him so that he stays with you. That's no way to treat a friend. I'll be back in a minute. Lure the fairy out of her hollow playing the flute. Great idea, Gwynling. All right. This one goes here. That one there. This one over there. Chestnut mannequin. Hello? Well, now, a chestnut king. A king? Really? Yeah, he rules the realm of the chestnuts and... Uh, and he's my friend. I'm deeply honoured, your tiny majesty. Here on here is my dearest friend of the forest, my lady fairy. <laughs> Both of you may enter. Finally. What a strange place. Dolls made of bulbs with hats made of leaves. Hmm. But where is the... Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda. And this is Miss Greenbald, Finkel and Hinkle, the Turnip Ghosts, and Plapperup. To make it simple, you can call me Nuri. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you... In love? Now that's unfortunate. I thought you were a fairy. All this nonsense completely in vain. Of course I am a fairy. What else could I be? You're a human, just like I am. You're much too tall for a blossom fairy and a man-sized fairy? We'll turn you into a radish at once if you don't keep quiet. Oh no. The dolls. They... No, please. Please don't do it. I'm just a simple bird catcher. How was I supposed to know? I'm just fooling around. I can't turn anyone into a radish. In fact, I can't turn anyone into anything anymore. But you are a fairy? Yes. Why? Would you like to come with me? Why? Do you want to show me your world, which must be full of humans? Uh, yes. With roofs made from wooden shingles? Exactly. I can show you those. Oh, that's marvellous. But... No, I can't leave here. I must stay near the fairy gate. Is this the fairy gate? Does it lead to your world? Not anymore. It's been sealed. Did you come from the fairy land? Yes. And hopefully I'll never go back there. Why can't you just come with me? If I leave here, I get sick. The only thing that keeps me alive in this world is the magic of the fairy gate. How's that? It is my well. Without its water, my soul dries up, like a plant. Couldn't you just take a part of the magic with you? How could I do that? Hmm, let me think about it. Why don't you want to go back to your home? That's just the way it is. Well, all right, to each their own secrets. I'll be back in a minute. I think King Chestnut makes a better companion for you than for me. Welcome, Your Majesty. We'll have to make a little crown for him. Well, you do that. Can I borrow one of these ribbons? Not those. I wanted to use them to... No. I can't remember what I wanted with them. I'll give them to you as a present. Get out of there!
let's see where this leads me. Well, the prawn shellers of Nostria would laugh at me, but that's still a fishing rod. What are you doing there? Very well, but how do I seal the snail shell now? is all wet. Maybe I can get to the water if I deepen this cut a bit. Oh, water! Very well, but how do I seal the snail shell now? See where this leads me. Interesting. The acorn fits on the end of the snail shell like a cork. Now finally I'll attach the leather ribbon so that the fairy won't spill anything. Look what I've made for you. You've tied Yerk of the snail to a leather ribbon. No, look! The snail shell is filled with water from the fairy gate. Now you can come with me. Really? Just try it. Alrighty, let's go. You have to show me everything. Where do we go first? We have to go to Andergast. Is that where you live? That's one way of expressing it. Which way? This way. Wait! Look, Geron. A magnificent bird. This plague gets worse and worse. Come, there's the town gate. I just want to say hello to him. This unkempt black witch's beast? Says the ugly, pale-faced pig-eater. Hello, Raven. I advise you to avoid the town. What's he saying? Two dark figures tiptoe past the gate. They're on the lookout for your fairy friend. Who says she's a fairy? I am a fairy. She's lying. How come you can talk anyway? And how do you know everything? I once made a big mistake. So the gods punished me by giving me the conscience of a man. Birds don't make mistakes. Birds just do whatever it is that birds do. You mean like the crows in this town? Why don't you regale us with a cheerful tale? Stay away from him, Nuri. Something's wrong here. But all creatures have the gift of speech, Garon. That's not important. Come on, you'll be safe with me and Gwynling. Why is the door open? This is where you live? <laughs> Something's wrong here. Look at this mess. Is this blood? By the gods, there's somebody here. The fairy. I have to hide her. Look, Nuri, this is exciting. Is that a cave? Yes, wait in there until you see a bright light. Who's this? Hello. I am Nuri Dari Nelavanda, but Geron calls me Nuri. Oh, I have to find out what's going on here. Oh, oh, oh. By the gods, what happened here? Your eyes. Who did this to you? The seer. He's back. Don't move. I'm with you now. He... 
sent his creatures for me. The fairy. You'll have to... They... Quinling. Quinling, stay with me. <coughs> what did the attackers want from you? The old fairy. Scholar. He'll be the next. What do they want with the fairy? He needs her, but he mustn't get her. What did you tell them? I spit at them with my own blood. What kind of creatures were they? Creatures of the night. Strangers in a strange world. What did they look like? They had pale faces and pointy claws. What fairy scholar? Uh, uh, Please don't die. Not now. He, he traveled with us back then. Thirteen years ago. He, he was the one who sealed the gate to the fairy land. Where is he now? It was all in vain. Where is the fairy scholar? In the blood barrier at the Red Lake. He went to the Auckland. It's too late now. All is lost. What will happen with the fairy now? There's only one solution. What way is that? You'll have to kill her. It's the only way the seer can be stopped. What? No, I'm not a murderer. In that case, Andergast will perish. I can't kill the fairy. You'll have to do it. Surely there must be another way. Don't be a fool. His power is beyond the realm of your imagination. Gwynly? There. I can hear them. The black wings. Uh, no. No. No, 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 no! What am I going to do now? What am I going to do? I can't kill the fairy. I'm not going to change my mind again. There must be another way. The fairy scholar, the Red Lake in the Blood Barrier. The king can deploy his knights there. They'll know how to defeat the seer. I must go to the castle immediately to warn them and everything will be fine. There she is. There's the witch. Don't look into her eyes. Witch, take her to the stake to burn. Oh no, Nuri. Nuri. Geron, your humans are mad at me. I'm afraid that they'll do me harm. What did you do? I told you to stay in the room. I got bored, so I took a walk. I wanted to see a town. In the big courtyard, all the animals had been caged. I felt so sorry for them. So you opened the cages? Yes. Then I stumbled and there was a terrible noise. All of the bowls and... Why didn't you stay in the cabinet? I didn't want to do any harm. Ask the raven, he saw it all. How did he get up there anyway? I can't remember. I was scared of your humans, and the next thing I knew I was up here. But now, I can't get down. Those are not my humans. Your fairy is in danger, Night Hare. Oh, it's you again. A mob has amassed. They want to burn her like a witch. Go and help her before it's too late. What did the fairy do? She ran off and set all the animals free. All hell broke loose. <laughs> they almost caught your friend, but she fled to the top of the wall. 
Why do they want to burn Nuri like a common witch? That came up when she fell into the booth with the clay balls. She raised an awful ruckus, and when everybody was looking in her direction, she fixed all the broken goods with a spell. She has the ability to repair things with magic? Yes, just like a witch does. And a stake can be set up in no time. I have to rescue her. Why don't you help? I am a raven. What can I do? Giving smart replies and making sinister threats, that's what. You buggers are nothing but bad luck. Now that's helpful. Why don't you get with it and get her down from there before it's too late? I'll come up with something. You keep quiet. Hurry. At least it's a memento of Gwynling. Can you fix this knife with your magic? Sure. Do I have to throw it to you or something? That's not necessary. It really is fixed. Thank you. Will you rescue me now? I'm on it. They've begun to throw stones. This way. Nuri, come now. What happened here? No time. We have to get out of town. Is he dead? Don't think about him. We have to go. He wanted you to die. And if we stay here, he'll get his wish. What? How do you know that? Before he died, he asked me to kill you. But I won't do that. I will protect you. So please trust me and come already. You can come out now. The mob has calmed down. That was the gong for the sixth hour of evening. I was supposed to be a hero by now. A hero? The king asked me to get rid of a plague of crows in the castle. I would have shown them all. Get rid of a plague of crows? I prefer saviors of fairies. I can never go back. That's for the best anyway. The creatures who killed your mentor would find you immediately. How come you know so much? Why are you helping us? I have my reasons, Nighthair. Good thing those creatures didn't find you before me. Nighthair? Geron, what are we going to do now? We'll travel to the Red Lake in the Blood Barrier. Into Orkland. Into Orkland? Uh, I hope you know what you're doing. Gwynling said something about a fairy scholar. He will know about, uh, well, about you, Nuri. He'll help you. Perhaps he can show me how to use magic again, without any pain. Yes, I'm sure he can. What do you think, Raven? Hmm, it's a possibility. The scholar mustn't send me back to my home, though. I'll never go back there. Come on, I want to be as far away from this place as possible when the sun goes down. Poor boy. He's taking desperation for determination. I trust him. 
You know that his mentor told him to kill you. I know. He told me. But he won't do it. He'll take me to safety and together we'll see the world. Ah, <sighs> that will be marvelous. Geron, wait! Don't worry, Raven. He's not going to do anything foolish. I hope you're right, my child. <laughs>